Hey, welcome back. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to do a bit of a niche data visualization type of graph, which is called spider or radar diagram, or let's say spider or radar chart. And you sometimes see it, let's say when you, when you have a case in, let's say FinTech or any other data driven environments where we have multiple KPIs and need to show to the user, you know, how it reflects, let's say on each of those uh, scales. So it's quite common, but quite niche as well. Certainly not for everyone, but sometimes maybe you would find it beneficial to include. So I'm going to show you exactly how to do this. As you can see, we have some KPIs, we have some percentage of it for each of them, and we have the overlay which indicates the severity of a thing, let's say. Again, this is fictitious case, and we're gonna try to first and foremost take this static sketch design, port it into Axure using a plugin, which you probably know already, and let's take it from there. And as you can see now, we have ported most of the elements into our canvas. What we can do with the graph from here on is one, we can animate it a little bit, but as you can see, it's just one piece of a thing, of a puzzle. We could potentially, let's say, show it a little bit differently and maybe add a 3D effect, meaning that upper purple layer could separate slightly from the rest and maybe kind of like zoom in a little bit if that makes sense, so maybe we can scale it up. Another thing what we can do is also add a mouse over effect. Now a mouse over effect here is quite complicated because what you really don't want is to misguide the users on how big you know the data quality is um, or, or like how strong any of the, these KPIs are. So I would first and foremost recommend to think about the best way to approach this. Now in my sketch file, I have this idea, which I tend to use in my graphs, let's say, which is basically, doesn't matter which point you mouse over, you indicate it with a line so that the users actually know exactly which KPI you're talking about or what we are on, and then displaying some sort of message box on top of it, on, on top of, uh, let's say, the KPI. And I'm gonna show you in a minute exactly what I mean. So I would just copy this bit again back into Axure separately so it's just clear for you and I would align it let's say like this so this is our mouse over effect let's say if we mouse over one of the KPIs now of course I'm gonna make it a dynamic panel and I would want to create several copies of these so that you or you can move the same existing thing if you refer to my previous videos but I'm just gonna do this time mouse over or something like that. And so you would want them to make a copy for each of these items and then create dynamic panels accordingly. And as you can see, I created dynamic panels for each of them. And of course we want them to be hidden because it's only the mouse over effect. So I'm just gonna hide it by clicking that icon in styles panel. So what I like to do in this case, let's say, because now we are basically need to just separate these things into so. So let's say if you can separate the things like that, you just draw a shape, which is basically a triangle and sharing that space in between one KPI and another. Uh, let me demonstrate. So let's say I might just make it invisible, have no border. And now I can say every time I mouse over that invisible type of triangle, we're just gonna show the overlay. So on mouse enter, show and hide, and then we're gonna select cost mouse over, and we show it immediately. And let's test it out if it works. As you can see, we have our prototype and it does work. Every time I mouse over that invisible triangle is gonna show. So what I'm gonna do next is just make several, several copies of that, or you can just redraw it with a pen again, but let me actually make it visible for now. So you know exactly what we're copying, this one. So I would want to invert it vertically, let's say that would cover the bottom bits. I also use the rotation a little bit 
so we can kind of like cover just the bits we want to. And that would allow us to make it as precise as possible so that we don't overlap the bits which shouldn't be overlapped. Let me just re rotate it really quickly for the other three items. And what I'm gonna do now is just make them all to have zero fill color wise so they're invisible and then make them let's say a safety is next one so I'm just gonna in change it because it was direct copy I'm just gonna change what happens here so I'm just gonna change it to safety mouse over do the same with reliability as well as a KPI let's say productivity too so there are several ways to skin a cat here, but I think this is the easiest. And let's say time is our last block. If I can find it, here it is. And now if we preview it, you're gonna see that we're gonna make it all the bits visible. However, what we're lacking is that let's say on mouse when mouse goes away it should become invisible and also we need some sort of indicators of uh, the tooltips let's say so what we're missing is another interaction and saying on mouse out uh, show and hide and we can just hide that same time component or in this case safety and hide it and we can just fade it away into 100 milliseconds let's say so it's a bit smooth and out and I'm gonna copy this interaction into every single other bit, like so. Command C, Command V, or Control C, Control V, and just editing the actual bit. So this is reliability we're talking about. Here, as you can see, it allows us to just go through one bit by bit and, and kind of make that diagram a bit more dynamic you can just do it however you want basically like so pretty good it's 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 close enough to what we want to achieve and next what i'm gonna do is just add the tooltips i'm gonna reuse it from our previous videos i'm just gonna copy one of them and just add it to let's say maybe cost let me make it visible so we can see exactly. Okay, we need to increase the size for sure. And it's just because it was different dimensions we used, which is totally fine. As you can see, actual nine beta in this case is being a bit tricky. So it misplaces a lot of things but that now works pretty well. You can add an arrow to it if you want to, but I feel like it's good enough. It's just like a, like a pop-up basically, additional pop-up of information. And what I'm gonna do next is just make, make it say, let's say tooltip, course, and have a copy for each of the items as well. Boom, so it's more or less fixed. Now what I'm, next thing what I'm gonna do is just make them hidden. All of them in style, hide it, and add to these invisible blocks we have, we're gonna add additional interactions. Just saying insert action, or we can also add target, that's totally fine. So we gonna target tooltip cost and show it as well, like so. And then hide it as well, tooltip costs, and hide it immediately same for safety and other items boom and now we're done so let's preview it really quick and see if that works yep it does work and as you can see we have certain things pop out like this let's say that's pretty good and next what I want to do is really just 
really cosmetic bit which I like to do and it's just to maybe make the actual layer of the information you know that purple bit pop slightly maybe bounce on a mouse over and that's quite easy to do so if we go to outline really quick I need to find that bit because we have so many shapes like this path as you can see and we can see exactly if this is a one yep I'm trying to move it around and what I'm gonna do is just I'm gonna create dynamic panel like so I'm gonna give it a name let's say purple for a time being and I'm gonna go inside this is our default view right so I'm gonna name it default but on the mouse over, if we duplicate the same, I'm gonna say Hour, let's say. I'm gonna make it a bit bigger, let's say. So maybe slightly, which doesn't distort our data too much, like so. And if we preview, as you can see, it's gonna be that effect. And now to every single item on a mouse over, I'm gonna tell Set Action, Set Panel State, and we find purple set it to hour and set okay and then we can copy the same thing and paste it on a mouse out like so or just drag it in and just make it go back to default on mouse if a mouse is let's say let me find it real quick if a mouse let's say goes out of the object or out of a chart it will just go back to normal so I'm going to copy and paste that to every single bit. Boom, let's test it. And if we test it out, boom, boom. As you can see, we have a little bit of an effect of, of uh, chart growing just slightly. Again, play with animations. Maybe you can make it bounce a little bit. Maybe you can even increase opacity of it we can try that out really quick something would whatever you think looks good or meaningful to the user just try it out because you never know maybe you're gonna discover something really interesting which would enhance the performance of your data or give extra insight so again it has to all of it has to be meaningful of course let me just find it keep on here default so let's see by default maybe we can make it the opacity reduced of a chart like so. Just to show you what I mean, like this, but if I mouse over, it's a boom. It's it like flares up like so, pretty good. And this is how you do basically a radar or spider diagram in a nutshell. I think it's a powerful pattern. So if you encounter a case for this, it's quite easy to do it within minutes. If you like this video, give a like, subscribe to his channel. I really appreciate it. Leave a comment down below if you want me to cover anything else. And as per usual, stay tuned for more sessions like these. See you next time.